Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about what happened to the man who brought us one of, if not the best highlight reel on the internet, Tavon Austin. Just looking at his career in whole, he's played with four different teams in his eight-year career and is still currently playing in Jacksonville, so I thought it would be interesting to go over his whole career and highlight the good and bad parts of it. Guys, before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if y'all liked and shared this video, if you enjoy it, as that helps the channel to grow. Now let's get into the video. Tavon Austin attended Dunbar High School in Baltimore, Maryland and was the fourth best player in the state. He was a four-star receiver who had offers from schools such as Boston College, Illinois, and Maryland, but he ended up committing to West Virginia. So moving on to his college career, one thing I found interesting when I was looking at his stats is that for the first three years of his college career, Tavon's position was listed as a running back and it wasn't until his senior year that it changed to receiver. However, it was after his junior year that West Virginia actually moved conferences, so maybe that had something to do with the position change, but maybe not. Another thing you'll notice if you look at his stats side by side is that he progressively got better in just about every stat as his career went on, which is always a good sign. Moving on, in his freshman year, he only had 15 receptions for 151 yards and a touchdown, which isn't horrible for a true freshman. The next year, his role increased as he had 58 receptions for 787 yards and 8 touchdowns. He also added to that with 161 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Now, that's a great sophomore season, but the next season was his breakout year. Dude near doubled his receptions with 101 and had 1,186 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns. And he added to that with 182 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. That year, he was a first-team All-American, first-team All-Big East, and the Big East Special Teams Player of the Year. Now, after that season, he could have declared for the NFL Draft, and if he had, he probably would have been a late third-rounder to an early fourth-rounder. But he decided to return for his senior year, and fortunately, it ended up working out for him in a big way. In his senior season, Tavon showed out as he had 114 receptions for 1,289 yards and 12 touchdowns and added to that with 643 rushing yards and three additional touchdowns, and nearly had 2,000 all-purpose yards on the year. At the end of that season, he was a first-team All-American for the second year in a row, and was selected to the first-team All-Big 12. He also won the Jet Award, which goes to the best returner in the country, and won the Paul Horning Award. He was also the Big 12 Special Teams Player of the Year. So without a doubt, Tavon had just had a phenomenal season and was projected to be picked in the first round of the 2013 NFL Draft. That prediction ended up being really accurate as he was taken with a 13th overall pick in that draft by the Rams. So if you look at Tavon's career NFL stats, you'll see that he was never really great, but he wasn't bad by any means. He has had some up years and down years, but through it all he continues to be a reliable role player on every team he's been a part of. In his rookie season, he had a pretty good year and played in 13 games. In those 13 games, he had 40 catches for 418 yards and 4 touchdowns. He added that with 9 rushes for 151 yards and a touchdown. Not bad at all. However, unfortunately for him, he would take a small step backwards in his next season. In the 2017 season, Tavon only accumulated 31 catches for 242 yards and no touchdowns, despite playing in 2 more games than he did in his rookie year. But in his rushing numbers, he stepped up as he had 36 carries for 224 yards and 2 touchdowns. The reason I say he took a step backwards that year is that he was listed as a wide receiver, so he was expected to make more impact in the receiving game, uh, but I'm sure people were happy with his production in the rushing game. Now, that season was not exactly the season that Tavon was looking for to rebound off of his rookie year, but instead of sitting back and feeling sorry for himself, he turned it around the next season. In his third year, he had 52 catches for 473 yards and 5 touchdowns, along with 52 carries for 434 yards and 4 touchdowns. Dude stepped all the way up from that less than mediocre season the year before and proved to people that he was capable of producing in this league. But it didn't stop there. The next season, he continued his streak and had 58 catches for 409 yards and 3 touchdowns. Although he did take a small step back in the rushing game, since he only had 28 carries for 159 yards and a touchdown. So now we got two seasons in a row in which he had a combined 110 receptions for just under 1,000 yards and 80 carries for just under 500 yards 
and 13 total touchdowns. But, as we know, all good things must come to an end. The next season, Tavon had one of his worst years, and obviously people were expecting another great season since he had really good numbers the last two seasons. But it wasn't meant to be. In the 2017 season, he only had 13 receptions for 47 yards and no touchdowns along with 59 carries for 270 yards and a touchdown. Now, this was kind of a weird season considering Tavon had just come off the best receiving year of his career. So you would expect for him to continue on that trend, but he dropped off hard. However, in the rushing game, he had the most carries in his whole career and the second most yards along with uh, a touchdown. So I'm not really sure what warranted the switch from receiver to running back, but it was definitely unexpected. I also want to mention that he played in all 16 games that year, and in 6 of those games, he didn't even get targeted. To add to that, he was pulled off special teams after he was having fumbling issues. So after that year, Tavon was unsurprisingly traded. Uh, he was traded to the Cowboys for only a 6th round draft pick, which is crazy to think about since he was taken in the first round just 5 years earlier. So his first season with his new team did not go as planned. He only played in 7 games uh, after an internal groin tear, and in those 7 games he just had 8 receptions for 140 yards and 2 touchdowns. He also added to that with 6 carries for 55 yards and no touchdowns which is not horrible for just seven games, but it's nowhere near the production that he and everyone else were hoping for. The next season was not much better, even though he played in twice as many games. In that year, he had 13 receptions for 177 yards and one touchdown, and added a measly six carries for 47 yards and a touchdown. After that year, he was once again traded. This time, he was traded to the Packers and had a very short and unsuccessful stint with them. In the 2020 season, which is the only season in which he played with the Packers, he only played in four games because of an injury and had just five catches for 20 yards. Now, after this season, things were looking pretty grim for Tavon. He was approaching his 30s and had not had a productive season in a while. But no matter how bad it looked on the outside or to us in the public, Tavon knew he was not done playing, and he wasn't. After his horrible stand with the Packers, he was straighted to the Jaguars, where his career has seen a resurgence. In the 2021 season, as a 30-year-old receiver in the NFL, Tavon Austin played in 13 games and had 24 receptions for 213 yards and a touchdown, which is not great by any means, but it was his best season statistically in the previous five years. So to wrap this video up, when we look at Tavon's career in whole, what we can see is a reliable role player who never really was a star player, but put up pretty good stats in his best years. And no matter what you think of him or his stats, the fact that he has stuck around in this league for nearly 10 years and is now a 30-year-old receiver in the NFL is very impressive. Um, I don't know what the future holds for Tavon, but my hope is that he'll make the most out of every season and game that he has left in his career because he's one of my favorite players ever and I would love to see nothing more than for him to put up great numbers in the latter part of his career. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you all liked this video, and if you did, please remember to subscribe and share the video, as that helps the channel to grow. Besides that, until next time.